Yo, what's going on guys, TK here, and this video is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, but I never really got around to it. Basically, I'm going to go on Fiverr.com, hire a Halo coach, let him coach me up a little bit, and then hopefully 1v1 him. Now, I'm going by the alias Pigman322. Don't ask me about the name, it just sounded kind of funny. So the coach I hired for this video is charging 10 bucks an hour. So I went ahead and purchased his services, and here is the highlights. Hey, what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> You're ready for your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know it's like kind of weird, but no, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, honestly, I haven't sold one of these in a long time, so it kind of threw me off. But <laughs> uh, so, like, did you just like do you like just start playing this, or like? Or have um, you it I mean, for a long like, time? I, I've played, I've played a little bit here and there, but I'm not like extremely good. Like, I'm just trying to like yeah, get enough. better at matchmaking and like. I guess like learn the maps and learn the weapons and just you know stuff like that. All right, so you said you wanted a Halo Three and Halo Two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like either of those games is fine. All right, well, I'm going Halo Three first because a lot of what's what applies in Halo Three can apply throughout Halo Two. Halo One is really the only one that kind of differs from it a lot. Same thing with Halo Four. Actually, yeah, Halo Four and One are kind of a lot different from the main formula. So okay, um, I'm not sure where you spawned in at. Just uh, head towards the middle of the map. Uh, I made a whole thing down in the middle. Oh, you made this map? Well, no, this is just uh, this is just a uh, uh, sandbox. But if we jump down here, I put in like every weapon in the game, all the vehicles and everything. Oh wow! Okay, cool. All right, so I'm assuming you know most, like generally speaking, how basic weapons work, like the shotgun and sniper rifle and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, kind of. Like, I I definitely know that like what the shotgun is because I've used that before. Um, the sniper, like, I've I've tried using it, but it's really hard to use. Yeah, that, that's fair. So, with the sniper, what you want to do is, actually, here, um, here, you take the sniper for a second. So, assuming you have your crosshair right on my head, right, okay. and I'm running straight at you, that is going to hit. Now, if I'm moving to the right, what you're going to want to do is you want to put the crosshair just a little bit in front of my head. And then if you sh hit the shot, it should lead right into my skull. So, here, try that for a second. A it's only a little bit, like, right on the side of my visor. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, I think this is, I think this implies more when you're in an actual sniping situation. So, assuming I had a sniper and I was far away, you're going to want to lead your shot just a little bit to the side of the head, basically. Okay. But, if you're up close like this, yeah, it's so, the bullet is so fast that it's not really going to make much of a difference. Okay. Um, okay, so if you want to, so with the shotgun, right, uh, best thing you can do, just pick it up real quick. Uh, if you have a shotgun, basically what you should strive to do this, uh, either... Shotgun melee or melee shotgun because it rarely one hits like if I'm right here hit me with the shotgun So he doesn't quite kill me so here, let, let me shield regen general quick So so if like, you go for a shotgun if you melee shotgun, that's better uh, Shotgun meleeing is technically more effective, but melee shotgun also works It just it just basically alterate between the two just really fast so shotgun melee me real quick Because in Halo 3, the melees are really fast. So you can bop off that melee like super quick after you get a shotgun. Okay, so SMG, just uh, pick up an SMG real quick. Actually, you can pick up two of them since they're dual wieldable. So the the SMG at base damage um, does quite a bit at close quarters to mid range. Now, if you do wield SMGs, you can do technically more damage, but each individual SMG will do less damage overall. Basically, meaning if you're not firing both at the same time, you're actually being less effective. Even though you have more bullets. Uh, just um, switch to your other weapon. That's Okay. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, basically all weapons work like that though, where they are decreased by 8% uh, damage whenever you equip them in your, other in your other hand. Okay. Or no, they do 80% of what they're supposed to. So that works for any melee weapon, or any uh, stuff like that. So a good combo to have though, is if you get a magnum and a uh, plasma pistol. Because you might think the plasma pistol is useless, but it has a charge shot. So if you charge it up like this, it can instantly fatal any opponent's shields. Uh, then you can pull out a magnum, one shot to the head. Well, like, yeah, because you can just, you know, you can hit it and quickly switch to your BR, bop them in the head, they're dead. Okay. Honestly, one of the best strats you can do. Anyways, here, I'm going to show you something else that I can do as well. So I'm going to get in this uh, Hornet right here. And sure, let me flat. I just screwed it up. <laughs> so hit the Hornet with the plasma pistol shot. It EMPs all vehicles. So any vehicle that you're in, whether it's a tank, ghost, hornet, banshee, anything, it can instantly EMP any vehicle. Okay. So that way you can, you know, so because, you know, a lot of times a guy will get in a hornet or a banshee or something, dominate the whole game. All you really need is a plasma pistol to stop. 
All right, so anyway, come down here again and pick up the uh, plasma rifle. So this function's nearly identical to the assault rifle, but here's, here's the catch with that. So the assault rifle does more damage against unshielded opponents, okay. whereas the plasma rifle is good for melting shields. So if you have an assault rifle on your back, right? So just uh, shoot me with that. All right, now stop. I switch to your plasma rifle. Let me, hold on, let me shield recharge. And just watch how much faster that destroys my shields. Yeah, it does I a really good job for shots. mostly shield destruction. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's very yeah. good. Just the thing is, uh, the range drop off on that is very bad. So it's good for mid range, but I don't try that at long range. So anyway, pick up the needler. So needler shots always track, and when a certain amount of needles attach to an opponent, it'll do something called a super combine where they explode. Okay. So here, shoot at me as I'm running, and you'll see that you'll see the needles track to me. See how they kind of follow my path? <laughs> um, Alright, so yeah, th that one's really not too much to worry about. All it is, like, it's good for close range, if you have it. There, it's not the best weapon in Halo 3, but um, it does its job. It's a lot better in Halo 4, if you're ever playing that. Okay, so if you want to pick up the Brute Shot, you can. So, Brute Shot is just a grenade launcher, basically. But, you know, made by the Brutes. Just, if you shoot it off, it'll shoot uh, grenades that will ricochet. So you can bounce them off the floors. So, like, aim it a little bit further away. You can see it bounce. You just gotta hit the right surface. It doesn't always bounce. It's like uh, it's a lot more rare in Halo 3 to get that. You have to hit it off of like more like edges. I don't really have anything here that has an edge. But in Halo 2, they bounce like crazy. So I, I don't even know if you really need to know how to use a rocket launcher. It's a rocket launcher. Yeah, but I, um, I'm pretty sure the Halo 3 one ha might have tracking on vehicles. So if you want to test that real quick, pick that up. I know that Halo 2 one has tracking. So uh, scope in. I'll click down the right stick to scope in on me. And does it lock on? Uh, no. Okay, yeah, so I was right about that. Yeah, okay, so the Halo 2 one can lock on to any vehicle in the game, and just, it will track, like, crazy towards. Otherwise, it's a rocket launcher, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I think you right. should know how that works. So, Spartan Laser right here. Pick that up. So, basically, never use that on another player. It is useless. It, it is so hard to actually track your shots with, but on vehicles, just aim that at a vehicle and charge it up and fire it. That does half the half the damage of a tank. Rate. It can one-shot players, but it doesn't exactly work very well. So it's like really hard to like one-shot a player with this. I mean, it's hard because you have to charge it, and players move like crazy. But it's really good against vehicles because they're bigger targets. My point is, don't bother aiming it at people because it's just gonna you're probably gonna end up just wasting most of your shots. Okay. Right, so you can pick up the sword now. All right, the sword is a sword, but there is some things you might want to know. So the right trigger, as you know, can lunge forward and kill me. So if you want to lunge forward and kill me, go for it. As you can see, it pushes you forward like that. Okay, yeah. But something that is good to know is that if you click your melee button, then your B, it does a quicker melee that can still one-shot. But what you can do with this melee is if someone rushes you with an energy sword and they're trying to lunge, if you do the quick melee on them, you can actually block their sword strike. Anyway, so the plasma turret is... Just a big heavy machine gun, basically, but it rips through shields, whereas the human one rips through armor. As you can see, that does a crap ton of damage to my shields. Yeah. But like, uh, it does. It's really good. That's one that's probably the best against players. This one, on the other hand, is very good against. Is way better against vehicles. Mm. The human machine gun turret over here. It also, honestly, I think the human machine gun is a lot better in both departments, though, because it tends to rip through armor way faster than that one does either. So it's just kind of, if you have to pick one. Go for that one. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, pick up the hammer over here. And yeah, you can detach those. But. Okay. So, the hammer is just a, it's a, it's a hammer. Uh, you can blow crap all over the place with it, and it does a crap ton of damage to vehicles and players. It's always a one-shot. It's just, it's just a fun, it's just a fun weapon, basically. Yeah. It's not necessarily overly effective, but it's, it's kind of basically an energy sword without the, the, uh, the lunge. Uh, the carbine, if you want to pick that up. It's right there. So, that functions as a, uh... A semi-automatic kind of like scout rifle kind of thing basically it's really good against players it's not that good against vehicles it does its job and it can it's not quite as good as the battle rifle but it can do its job if you can't find a br that's a good substitute there's really not much to say about it, it is the, it is also the only covenant weapon that is uh ballistic based and not uh just plasma batteries so you do have to reload it the few rod cannons kind of like that but it's a little bit of an exception I mean, if you want to pick up the mauler over here Right, so this gun is very fun. It is one of the most underrated weapons, I think, in all of Halo. So, so shoot me from when I'm over here. It does nothing. Now then, I'm going to walk up close to you. I want you to shoot me with it. 
that does nearly all of my uh, that does all my shields and nearly all my health. It is super powerful. A good thing to do with that is just uh, the same thing with the shotgun melee. Just do Mahler melee. I ran him. <laughs> it's it's borderline a shotgun. <laughs> well, not a lot of people appreciate that weapon, but I think it's one of the most underrated. To be honest with you. Anyway, so continue forward. Uh, let's see there. So the fuel rod cannon is basically the Covenant's answer to a rocket launcher. Uh, if you want to shoot that at a vehicle or something like that, uh, go for it. And they do, that also bounces, like I was talking about. So you can use that when you're like in tight corners and stuff. It's very good against players, very good against vehicles. All around, pretty decent weapon. Uh, the beam rifle, I don't know if you want to bother to go over this. It's just a, it's a sniper rifle. And it functions like the sniper rifle, but it has a battery and it can overheat like that. Okay. It does technically have more shots, however, if you want to pick up the sentinel beam. So this weapon is one of the most arguably useless um, it overheats really quick, but it can do a lot of damage to shields, as you can see right there. That just shattered my shielding. It's kind of a waste, though, because the plasma rifle does a better job of both of those things. So it's not necessarily a weapon to keep on you when there's better options. Uh, anyway, so these two, these are fun. Flamethrower. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, I think you should know how a flamethrower works. You can light players and vehicles on fire. So if you want here, shoot me with a little burst of it. And I can, like, run around on fire. Doesn't last long, but okay, so if you want to pick up the missile pod here, it's the last big boy weapon. <laughs> okay. All right, so at, at base it just shoots missiles. Just shoot a missile at something. Now what you can do with this is this has the tracking thing I was talking about. So I'm gonna get in this banshee, and you should be able to lock on to me if you keep your um. Yep. Thing on me. Then when it glows red, just fire it. Oh. You can kind of dodge it, but it is very hard to dodge when you're really far away. So that's, okay, so that's basically all the weapons in the sandbox. And if you want to come over here, though. So you're going to find two power-ups on every map. There's active camouflage, and there's overshielding. Active camo makes you go invis, and overshielding gives you double the shields. There's not really much to say about it. There, there are, most maps have a power-up on it somewhere. Okay. Uh, a few of them don't, but they're just good to know. But, you know, if you pick them up. The invisibility isn't perfect, though, as you can see. Do you know, like, when they spawn? Like, is there, like, a spawn timer? Um, they usually spawn in at the start of the match, and they spawn in one more time before the end. But now something to know is, if you have a overshield and active camo, it will override each other, and then the active camo doesn't necessarily work. Okay, yeah, I see. Uh, anyway, so these are all the power-ups and grenade types. Uh, they're all, I don't know, they're, they're not necessarily the greatest things. This one is deployable cover. It deploys a jackal-style shield. Oh, that's cool, I like right that. right in front of you. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't work the best. This one right here, though, is probably the most useless. This is a trip mine. Doesn't work very well. The only time that I've ever gotten use out of this is when a warthog is driving right at me. And this will completely total that. Yeah. But uh, otherwise, it just blows up. It's a pretty big explosion. All right. So these two. Uh, this is a flare. This sucks in multiplayer, but it's very annoying in the campaign. Um, the red one here is a radar jammer. So look at your radar now. Oh yeah, so it just shows like a lot of dots. The only bad thing is it does the same thing to you, so it also kind of effectively jams your radar. So it kind of. Yeah, I mean, is that good in multiplayer though? It debatably because it also screws with your radar. Right. So it's kind of a hand in hand thing. If you see a guy and you want to screw them, throw one of these at him, then just jump down, punch him in the back, one hit kill. That's what I would do with it. Uh, regenerator does about what you'd expect a regenerator to do. So if I hit you, you'll get your health back a lot faster. And okay. this is really good to have on you, just for those tight moments. Uh, it's really good for if you're in a corridor and you have a shotgun, bop one of these down, just shotgun melee everyone that comes at you. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, grab lift is a grab lift. And then the power drain. This thing is nasty. So, actually, hold on, I'm going to pick up a magnum just so I can show you how stupid this thing is. So, let's assume you have, like, three guys running. So, like, run at me real quick. It can EMP vehicles and shields. It's kind of like just a plasma pistol with a radius. That's how I'll describe it. And this is my personal favorite, just because it's annoying. Uh, bubble shield. Can't shoot in, can't shoot out. Anyone who runs in, bop them in the face. You can never break this either, so... The only way to break it is if you run in and you shoot the core. Or you punch it. That works too. Alright, so here, if you want to pick up these two grenades right here... There's, a, there's another grenade right there too, just pick up the spiker. Uh, do you know how to switch through your grenades on Halo 3? Yeah. All right. So I think you know how you know. How, I'm assuming you know how the plasma grenade works. That's kind of like a staple. Yeah, it's like the sticky, sticky grenade. Yeah. So the spiker also functions kind of as a sticky grenade, but it has more of an area of effect and doesn't always one hit. So if you want to throw a spiker at me, go for it. 
It does usually one hit, but if it's next to someone, it doesn't tend to. But it does a lot of damage to vehicles, a lot more than you'd expect it to. And then the firebomb grenade is a strange one, because it is actually very rarely multiplayer. There's only one map in the whole game that actually has the firebomb grenade on it, but gotta say, the firebomb grenade's gotta be the most fun of all of them. This thing just does what you'd expect it to do. Starts fire. You don't encounter that often, but I think it's the most fun of all the grenades. Like, what map is that on? Do you know? Or... Uh, yeah, it's on, um... I can think of the name of the map. Do you know the one that is, like, a giant snow base? It's a big team battle map. It's, like, uh, two bases in the middle of a giant canyon that goes, like, in a big uh, U formation. I think I know what you're talking about. I think about. it's Alpine or something? I, I can't remember the exact name. Okay. Anyway, so, alright, I'm gonna... We're gonna move over to Halo 2 now. I don't have a map on there, because you can't make maps. But... Yeah, okay. Yeah, because in Halo uh, 2, like, I was I was watching, like, a video on how, how to get better, and someone was showing me... They were, like, showing, like, button... Uh, glitches or something. Those like are that? actually no longer on. Those are no longer on this version of Halo Two. <laughs> oh, so you can't like BXR and stuff no more. No, no, that was only in classic Halo Two. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, that's something that you don't have to worry about because I thought you could do it on here and I kept screwing it up and I was just like, why isn't it working? And I looked up and I was like, oh. <laughs> All right, so something you notice a lot differently on Halo Two compared to Halo Three is that I was talking about the battle rifle. You uh -huh. don't have to lead your shots with the battle rifle on Halo Two. So, if I'm moving, just aim for the head always. Don't try to shoot me. But yeah. And also, you're usually all, almost always paired with an SMG. If you want to know a good strat for killing someone fast in Halo 2, similar to the shotgun strat, you just go on for the melee, pop them in the head. You like melee honestly. and then you pop them? Yeah, basically. Yeah. It will not work inverted, though, so keep that in mind. So you cannot shoot them once then bop them. That's not going to work. Like that? Yeah. Yep. So there is a plasma pistol up there if you want to grab it. I think it's up there in the deck or whatever. That works basically the same to Halo 3 where you can charge it up, but it does have more tracking. So it should be able to track me even further. Oh, it does wow, a little yeah. bit more damage to my shields. Yeah, I see that. Anyway, so if we go down, um, we need to go what down. What about the needler? The uh, needler is, I would argue, it, it can track better, but it does less damage. It's gonna put a lot more needles into me before it actually kills me. Yeah, okay. But the tracking is pretty freaking insane. Let's go down that pathway we were heading down, maybe down here. Okay. So there is an energy sword down here. Now, the energy sword in Halo 2 is the most broken piece of garbage ever created. So pick that baby up and just. Okay, I'm okay here. Stay, stay right there for a second. Now, move, slowly move into red reticle range. So when your reticle glows red, stop. You can launch that whole distance. Oh, wow. You know, sometimes it doesn't do damage when you're up hills, which is kind of glitchy. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, yeah. The coding on that thing is kind of weird, but that's why it's so broken. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun to use. And the uh, same thing I was talking about with the quick melees that can block sword strikes. You can do the same thing in Halo 2. Oh, so like you could block my sword? But here, if you want to try it, count me down. Three, two, one. Otherwise, most of the weapons in Halo 2 sandbox function about the same. A lot of them are just a little bit more broke. Yeah, how come I can't kill you with this? Because it, uh, okay, like I was saying, there's a weird uphill incline thing, and that's what's happening to it. If you're far away, it doesn't always kill, it just lunges you up, and if you're up hills, it also doesn't work properly. So it's is really that, weird and broken. Is that why you said it was broken? Because, like, I'm trying to, like... Yeah, that's why, yeah, that's why I said jump before you do it. I jumped. Alright, actually, now I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Yeah. That, I have never seen this before. I have never actually seen this before. Okay, that's confusing. Wait, give me the sword. Let me see if it works for me. <laughs> Let's see if this works. What the heck? Worked for me. I, it worked for me. <laughs> I, okay. I don't I know. Don't that's know. new. It's, I it's... have not seen that before. Here, let me try. Like, I don't really. <laughs> that must be like. Oh, go for it. See, it's like a glitch. I think it might be because you're using an elite player model. Yeah, I don't know. It might be. I don't know. Yeah, because it's like you're, I don't know, you're not finishing the swing. I'm looking at your animation, and it's like you're partially doing the swing. Yeah, but it's like I'm slashing you on my screen, like the the sword's like on your head, and it's like... Oh, I, it might be something with your elite player model, I'm not really sure. That's That would be my guess on it. Because I, I could slash you when I was on the ground. <laughs> yeah, so it must be like a glitch or something. Yeah, it's still doing that. Yeah, I don't know. Right, I think there's a shot. There just should be a shotgun down here. Okay. Yep, is, the, is. is like the shotgun really good in this game? The shotgun is yes. It is very nasty. Okay. 
It's going to be your one answer to the energy sword. So actually, here, let me pick up the sword. So I'm just going to come at you with the sword and try to stop you with a shotgun melee. It one hits a lot more frequently, and the shotgun melee is about uh, 10 times faster on Halo 2. So you can just... It, it's ridiculous. I, I have gone on like 20 killing trees. That's stupid. It's ridiculous. It's probably one of the most fun weapons you can ever get on here. Uh, there's a sniper up here, so we can go pick that up. Is like the sniper better on this game, or is it like? I would I would argue yes, it's far more consistent. Okay. So yeah, it is hit scan, so you don't have to lead your shots. So just try and hit me. Mm -hmm. thing is, it is a lot more inconsistent when it comes to headshots. So it's honestly better to just bop off two shots really quickly. So like, it just tends so to like, don't aim better. for the head with sniper. Um, at least in this game, it, it sometimes. I mean, I would try for it. But it doesn't always work. Do you want to play against me, or do you want to go into? I mean, like, I don't really. Uh, yeah, I mean, matches? like that's fine if you want to just do that. I mean, I don't know. The guy where you have like a teammate or something. I don't. I don't know. I mean, whatever you want to do. Would you rather fight me, or would you rather go in? Um, I mean, I'll fight you. That's fine. I mean, I'm not gonna get better if All I don't right. play better people, right? So. That's true. So, what's your favorite Halo game? Uh, my favorite is Halo One. I I've always been like way better at Halo One, and I've always just kind of. I don't know, I've always liked it. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of... It's broken, but I understand how broken it is, so I can play it to its maximum effect. Yeah, because, I mean, I play a lot of COD, and, like, coming from COD to Halo, like, I don't know, I mean, I feel like they both have different skill sets, but, I mean, I don't know, like... Yeah, I feel like you actually might be a lot more at home in Halo 4, because you get, like, loadouts, and it kind of feels more like COD. Yeah, Halo 4 is, it's, we, it's a weird one, but it does feel a lot like COD, and that's why I think you might like it. But it's it's a good game. I think it has its merits, but it's, I don't know, it's it's like the black sheep, basically, of the Halo franchise. A lot of people either, you don't find a lot of people that are really mixed on it. You basically either, people either love Halo 4 or they hate it, like a burning passion. Nice grenade. Is there any of those like fire grenades on this map, or? No, I don't believe so. Oh, you got the bubble shield. Is there a shotgun on this map too, or no? No, but there's something. Actually, wait, yeah, there is. Pretty sure there is. Oh no! Oh. Damn it! I had a hammer. <laughs> I just wanted to use a hammer. Yeah, the hammer. You're, not, fun. you're doing pretty good with that sniper. I gotta give you credit. Probably all the years of COD, like quick scoping and stuff like that. Yeah, that definitely is going to help you here. That's one of the main things. The gunplay in COD is like... I I'm not the biggest COD person, but even I gotta say the gunplay in COD is a lot of fun. Yeah, that's definitely helping you here. <laughs> yeah, dude, Call of Duty is like... it makes you so good. So what do you think takes more skill, Halo or COD? I think it depends on what you're trying to do in the games. I think Halo requires a lot more tactics, where I think Call of Duty requires a lot better gunplay to succeed at. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't care. I got that sniper out of your damn hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. How many shots does it take to kill someone with a battle rifle? How many was that? That was ridiculous. <laughs> Dude, the grenades are so strong you're in actually, this game. You're, yeah, they're pretty ridiculous in Halo 3. I'm gonna give you credit though, dude. You were like actually doing really good at Halo 3. <laughs> I've been the best at this one. I can. I'm good at one. I'm good at two. But I cannot. I've always sucked at three. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I just know how everything works. It kind of throws me off a little bit. Because all the other games, they kind of feel the same. I guess I'd say. Whereas this one is probably. It, it feels the weirdest in the hands. I guess. Yeah, that's why this is, I don't know, I, everyone praises this one, and I love its story, don't get me wrong, but this is why it's never been my favorite multiplayer to play. Damn it. Did you have Overshield and Invis? Yeah, I picked them both up like you taught me. Well, like, like I was actually saying is don't do that because if you have, well, actually it works with overshield, I guess, if you want that more, but like if you have active camo, it doesn't make you invis anymore. Oh, so it takes it away. 
Yeah, because, well, it doesn't necessarily take it away, but you can see the, uh, the glow effects of the overshield through the invis, so it kind of kills the whole point. And you have that. <laughs> oh no. I can't see you. You stuck me. Oh, you man. stuck me through oh, that. Man. How did you manage that? I don't know. That <laughs> Jesus was... Christ. That was kind of lucky, yeah. <laughs> that was the luckiest throw I have ever seen in my entire life. I don't even know why I'm bothering battle rifling you anymore. You have way better aim. <laughs> Dude, your grenade skills are legit impressive. Like, sincerely, I am sincerely impressed by how good you are with grenades. Yeah, they're okay. I mean, like I said, just all the years of playing Call of Duty. No, like, in all sincerity, dude, you're actually really good at this. I gotta, I'm being real with you. You have great aim, and you're, like, actually really good with grenades. I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is. I mean, I think it's just, like, all the years of COD and stuff. Like, I play a little bit of Gears of War as well. Yeah, I, I guarantee the COD is, like, big time helping with you right now. I just realized you have 24 kills and now, oh god. Yep, alright, that was it. <laughs> no, but like, no, but like, legit though, you have a lot better aim than I do. Like, I, like, sincerely, I think that's gonna definitely help you when you're trying to get through this. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just wanna be good at matchmaking because, like, I see, like, a lot of guys post their YouTube videos, like, their gameplays, and, like, they're just so good at Halo. And I just wanna be good at Halo, you know? That's why I had to buy yeah, your lessons fair. because, like, you know, I just. I need help from like a veteran, from someone who's been there, done that. So. I can definitely be a lot more of service in Halo 1 if you ever want to do that. Because like that's the one thing that I can excel at. I, I even know that. I can go into games and yeah. well, I, I, mean, I did a one-on-four match once and I won. So, So, but you said you're good at Halo 2, right? As well or no? I'm decent at Halo 2. I think I'm the best. I know I'm, I can like destroy a Halo 1. I'm pretty good at Halo 2. I put myself above average Halo 2. Mm -hmm. and Halo 4 I'm pretty good at as well. It's just a three just throws me off. Nice. Yeah, I like did what you taught me. Like you just gotta like bash and shoot, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, I see you. Ooh, that was a good snipe. Not think you'd be coming from that one. Oh. That one trick scope I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? A trick scope? Like, what is that? So I was trying to do. <laughs> just like trying to, I don't know, almost do a 360. Also, something to note um, I don't do this myself, but uh, a lot of people, they play on the control set bumper jumper while playing Halo 2. Oh, yeah. And that, uh, that makes it so you can uh, basically really easily jump, shoot, strafe at the same time. And it's very confusing to fight against, but it's also really hard to learn. But like, if you ever wanted to go above that, That'd be a good yeah, that's try. something to think about. Like, I just wish they had like sprint in Halo 2 because I don't know. But uh, if you ever want to play a Halo game that has sprint and it plays more like Halo 2, um, there's something called Halo Online. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. No. It was a, a fan-made project. It was like they took a Russian version of Halo 4 and then put it on PC and turned it into Halo 3, and uh, it does have sprint and stuff like that from Halo 4, but at the same time, it functions more like Halo 3 and 2. It's really fun to play. So, like, if you ever wanted to try something like that, it is fun. Wait, where were you? Hold on just a moment. I sword slashed you. Excuse me. <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> Wait, where the where were you? Well, <laughs> this is why I should have kept the SMG. Yeah, the SMG would probably work pretty good against sword, right? It kind of yeah. I don't know. It, it's more like I need a shotgun, honestly, to combat that. Well, I tried the shotgun, and guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Even that didn't freaking work. How'd you get that? Uh, it's on the bottom of the map, on the other side. Oh, okay. It's like, uh, you know the one tower that has the gravity lift in the middle of it? Yeah. It's like, uh, 
from where I just was, it'd be on the left. If you go down that, then it's in the bottom. Where the hell did you go? I am very lost right now. <laughs> it's just not there. All you sword swing fag. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you were gonna go, but then it was too late. <laughs> bastard <laughs> it's really the grenades like you were on fire with grenades right here like i don't even wait do you still have the oh you'd be surprised to have the sword don't you oh i was right you had the sword. <laughs> nice we're very good at like confusing the crap out of me <laughs> Yeah, well, it's just like, you appear in so many places. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> You're crap. No, where are you? Oh my god, I hate my life. <laughs> I was so ready. <laughs> and then I just wasn't. So, you have, you are a very good sniper. I gotta give you credit. I very appreciate it. incredibly impressive. I mean, like, you were, honestly, like, you'll, honestly, right, just like, I, I, you know, I'm happy to tell you how all the guns work and stuff, but you need no help when it comes to aiming and, like, coordination and stuff like that. You were, you got that down perfectly. Yeah, if you want to play, like, a wizard 1v1 in Halo 1, like, I'll do that. Because, like, okay. you said that Halo 1 was your game, right? <laughs> so, let's do it. Wasn't yes, Warlock, like, it was, so. like, a remake or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, your aim is gonna kill me. Because, <laughs> like, the standard Xbox kid trying to play this thing does not have good aim. So, you would honestly, you'd probably excel at Halo 1. <laughs> also, if you want to know kind of a cool fun fact about. Where are you? If you want to know a cool fun fact about this version of Halo 1, this isn't actually the original Halo. This is a broken version of the uh, Gearbox port that was put on the PC. <laughs> Oh, was it actually? So if you ever play class, if you ever, yeah, if you ever play classic Halo 1, uh, your pistol shots will hit. Uh, like a thousand percent of the time because there's no bloom there's bloom in this version uh, and like uh, there's all sorts of different little small differences and like the uh okay if you real quick shine your flashlight you know to turn on your flashlight this should be your left bumper yeah. you turn on your flashlight and you look at the surfaces on the ground look how much better detailed they look but it's like the they, they glitched it and the texture bumping on this version of the game doesn't work unless you have a dynamic light shining on it and like they kind of crapped all over the game because this is always my favorite game, and it's just kind of it always kind of pissed me off that 343 used this version of it. Yeah, I never even noticed that. I never really played Halo One though, so I don't know. Yeah, exactly. You probably notice it more if you like had played it in the past, but yeah, honestly, dude, you have me beat here. Like, I I guarantee you're gonna win this because you this game is all about aim and you have some scary fucking aim. <laughs> I don't know the mechanics and everything, sure, but it's like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> you are very impressive. I appreciate that. I mean, I think, like, I don't know, man, maybe Call of Duty is, like, the move if you want to get better at Halo, you know what I mean? Honestly, I, honestly, yeah, like, because I, I gotta say, I, the, the, I love the gunplay in COD. Like, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm always been a giant Halo fan, but I do love the gunplay in COD, and I think that definitely does help. Because, like, your COD skills are definitely showing here. Because your aim is scary. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Dude, uh, this is... Uh, this nah, man, you're good. I'm pretty sure you're just not even trying. You're just, like, you're just taking it easy on me, because... I mean, I haven't played this in a hot second, not gonna lie, but... <laughs> yeah, you're just taking it easy on me, that's all. Oh, God, you got the... What is that? It's the bolt shot. It... Something about Halo 4, always have a bolt shot in your loadout. It It's so stupid. It's like, that's the reason why a lot of people quit the game. <laughs> it's because of the stupid gun. Like, uh, it basically, but it functions like a pistol normally, but if you charge it up, it has like this uh, burst shot, and it is a one hit, and it's so stupid. Or you can use a scatter shot, that works too. <laughs> 
Wait, pick, pick up my gun though. Try it out. It's really What's that? Fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. saw. Yeah, try it out. Yeah, the saw. It absolutely shreds. I know I'm gonna regret telling you to do that, but it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have overshield. <laughs> oh, see, now you get you got a bolt shot on, don't you? <laughs> You're a beast that I yelled for. I wouldn't go that far. It's just, you know, you, you are really good. I don't even know why you needed this. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like, that sincerely. good. Like, there's like a lot of stuff I don't know. I mean, when you were showing me the weapons, like, you definitely taught me quite a bit. Like, the Halo 3 sandbox. Yeah, I guess that's fair. But, like, I don't know. In terms of pure combat skill and aim, though, you, you have the advantage there. I, I know the game's mechanic, sure, but, like, you are one scary person to fight against. Ooh, nice jump shot. It's like, yeah, honestly, like, to be honest with you, if you got down, like, the maps and, like, the, uh, just, like, generally what the weapons all do, like, I, you know, like I was saying about the plasma pistol and stuff like that, uh, you could easily kick my ass thousands of times, like, because you have way better aim than I do. At the same time, though, I have been kind of slowly moving to PC. <laughs> yeah, I mean, PC is definitely the route to go, though, I would say. Like, because you said you had a PC, is it like, do you have like a nice one, or do you just have like a... Uh, it's, you know, it's alright. I mean, it's a couple years old. I think I've, I built mine in 2014, so... Oh no. God, you with a sniper, scary. Yeah, on the real, your COD is really much helping you. But something also known about Halo 4 is, uh, like, besides the armor abilities, uh, the perks in this game are, can be very ridiculous. Oh yeah. And like, uh, cause like, uh, right now I have one on that lets me see your location after you kill me, so I can basically just always see your location. Like, uh, you know, stuff like that can really help out. Oh my god, what was that? That was like a... I have a hologram on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I don't have any close <laughs> range. But no, uh, seriously though, dude, like, you, you, sir, are very talented, I gotta say. I don't even, like, besides, you know, knowing how each thing works, I don't even know why you needed me. Alright, so that was the end of the video. I had to go afterwards, but this guy was a really good sport. I'm not gonna lie, there was a little bit of misinformation here and there, but the guy sounded like he really wanted to help people. So the guy earned his 10 bucks, he got his money, and I left him positive feedback as well. So, I mean, I think if he was teaching someone who was brand new at the game, I think that they would have learned something. And again, the guy went as far as making a custom map with custom weapons and vehicles on it to try to teach me so he deserves it he earned it as always make sure you guys like favorite comment subscribe love you guys peace